Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to uh, discuss on the summary for chapter 4, Magnetic Field. Okay, so for chapter 4, there are seven subtopics. The first one is the Magnetic Field. Okay, and then 4.2 is the Magnetic Field produced by Current Carry Conductor. 4.3 is the Magnetic Force. 4.4 is the Magnetic Force on Current Carry Conductor in the Uniform Magnetic Field. 4.5 is the force between the two pair current carry conductor. 4.6 is torque on a coin. And 4.7 is the motion of charge particle in a magnetic field and electric field. Okay, so we start with 4.1 first. Okay, where 4.1 is the magnetic field. Okay, magnetic field is a region around the magnet where the magnetic force can be experienced. Okay, so if it is a, a light pulse, meaning that uh, sama kutub, eh? okay, uh, example, north with north pole, south with south pole, so it will experience a, a repulsive force. Okay, if it is an opposite pulse, meaning that north and south pole, okay, it will experience an attractive force. Okay, so if you refer here, actually, uh, with earth, also is a, a bar magnet. Okay, so if you refer here, the magnetic south pole of the north, of the earth is actually equal to the geometrical north pole okay so if we uh, look at here actually this is a north okay this is a north pole of the geometrical north pole but actually this geometrical north pole is is a, a magnetic sub pole of the earth okay so it's actually opposite okay and also we must uh, remember that the magnetic field line also it will come up okay it will come up from uh, north pole and then it will enter to the sub pole okay it will from north to south from north it will enter sub pole okay so sub pole is the magnetic field line enter north pole is the magnetic field line it will come up from the north pole okay okay if let's say these two bar magnet north and south okay unlike pole or opposite pole where we uh, put together okay it will experience an attractive force okay so it will attract from north to south Okay, whereas if I say both of them are like pole, meaning the same pole, okay, it will experience a repulsive force. Okay, so here at point P actually is a neutral because uh, north and north actually they experience a repulsive force. So there's no force acting at point P. Okay, it's a neutral. So this is a, a magnetic field. Okay, so we continue. Okay, magnetic field, or uh, we can call it as magnetic flux density, magnetic field strength. Okay, so here all we are referring to B. Okay, so the magnetic flux per unit area, cross-sectional area, at the angle of, uh, at the area of right angle to the magnetic field. Okay, so our equation B is equal to magnetic flux over area, and the unit is Tesla or Weber per meter squared. Okay, okay, so magnetic flux density also is a vector quantities and usually uh, follow the directions of the magnetic field. Okay, so our B is follow the magnetic field line. Okay, so now we have uh, three equations. Okay, magnetic field B produced by current carry conductor. So case one is straight conductor or a straight wire. Okay, so equation for a straight wire is B equals to mu naught I over two by R. Okay, when there's a current flowing through the current, it's flowing through the uh, the conductor. Okay, so automatically it will produce B. Okay, so how can we determine the directions of B? We must use right hand grip. Okay, so for this case, our right hand grip. Okay, thumb here represent the current and the finger here is represent the directions of B. Okay, so if you grab the wire, okay, you'll find that for this case, when the current is flowing upward, the directions of the magnetic field is actually anti-clockwise. Okay, so this is the direction. Okay, next, circular coin. For a circular coin, equation is B equals to mu naught I over 2R. Okay, so similar, we can use right hand grip. Okay, so here this is the current going upward. So when the current going upward, let's say this is a point A. Okay, so if let's say you you uh, use the right hand grip, you find out that the directions of the magnetic field actually is anti-clockwise. Okay. Okay, and then current will flow and then go into point B. Okay, so when you enter to point B, you use right hand grip. Uh, okay, so meaning that this is your thumb, and then you grip like this. Okay, so you found that actually the directions of the Okay, the directions of the uh, magnetic field actually is in clockwise direction. Okay, it's moved in clockwise direction. Okay, so this is the uh, magnetic field line produced by uh, the coin. Okay. Okay, next we have the third one is a solenoid. So solenoid, we have two equations. The first one is B center. Okay, so when we want to find the uh, magnetic field 
and the solenoid center of the solenoid equation is mu naught n i. Okay, if let's say it's at the end, it's half mu naught n i, where our n here is equal to the number of terms per unit length. Okay, so for this solenoid, we also use right hand grip, but now our right hand grip here, okay, thumb is represent north pole, and the finger here is represent the directions of the current. Okay, so if you grab the directions of the current is going upward, so your finger when you grab is going upward, and you find out that the thumb here is pointing to the left. So meaning that on your left hand side, this is a north, on your right hand side, this is a south pole. Okay, so these are the three equations for magnetic field produced by current carry conductor. Okay, next we continue with 4.3 magnetic force. Okay, so just now we use right hand grip to determine the directions of the magnetic field. Now, if we want to determine the directions of the force, we must use Fleming left hand rules to determine the directions of the force. Okay, so we have two cases here. The first one is a moving charge. Okay, the second one is current carry conductor. Okay, in a uniform magnetic field. Okay, so for the first equation, if I say the charge is moving inside the magnetic field, okay, equation is Q equal F equals to Q V cross B. Okay, it's a cross product. So when it cross product, meaning that this is, they will give you the magnitude and also the direction. It's a vector quantity. Or we can write as Q V B sine theta. Where the angle here is between vector V and also vector B. Okay, so meaning that your palm here represents the force. Okay, and then the first finger is represent the magnetic field direction and the second finger is represent the motions of the charge. Okay, so this is the directions of the force for positive charge. Okay, so if let's say negative charge, meaning that the directions of the force will be opposite. Okay, if let's say the force that you get is in a acting upward, meaning that if let's say this is a negative charge, the force that acting it will be acting downward in opposite direction. Okay, okay, next current carry conductor in a uniform magnetic field. Okay, so equation is I L cross B or we can write as I L B sine theta so again the angle here is between the length of the wire and also vector B okay so we also use framing left hand rules so thumb here represent the force the first finger here represent the magnetic field and the second finger here will be represent the directions of the current okay so we continue with magnetic force on a moving charge particle in a uniform magnetic field Okay, so if you refer to this diagram, okay, where the positive charge is moving with the velocity to the right, okay, and then B is into the page. Huh? If you refer here, this is the cross, huh? cross meaning that B is into the page. So you take out uh, your left hand, okay, we use Fleming left hand rules where B is into the page, V is going to the right, therefore the directions of the force or the directions of the thumb, it will show the force is acting upward, okay. So this charge, it will move to Okay, it will deflect it and move here. Okay, and we will move with the velocity v. So again, when we use flaming left hand rules, v is going upward, b is into the page. So the force it will experience is to the left. Okay, so it will come to here again. V is tangent to the sphere. Okay, so again it will experience force acting downward, and it comes to this part. Okay, v is going downward. Okay, because it's always tangent to the sphere, so it will experience force that is acting to the right. And at the end, it will come back. Okay, so it will make a circular motion. Okay, it will make a circular motion. Okay, so if let's say negative charge initially V is going to the right. Okay, so the force that acting actually is acting when you use Fleming left hand rules, it will acting upward. But because this is a negative charge, okay, meaning that force is in opposite direction, so it will acting downward. So our negative charge it will come to here. Okay, so finally, okay, it will make a circular motion as well. Okay, where it will make one cycle, okay, or one complete cycle, and then it go back to the initial place. Okay, so meaning that if let's say a charge moving in a uniform magnetic field, okay, it will experience a, a centripetal force. Okay, centripetal force in this motion. Okay, so our equation: the magnetic force contributes the centripetal force in this motion. Therefore, F B is equal to F C. Okay, so since this is a charge, so QVB is equal to NV square over R. Huh? This is a centripetal force equation. Okay, therefore, our radius of the centripetal force or the circular motion is equal to NV over QB. Okay, so this is a radius. So it depends on uh, the mass, depends on the velocity, depends on the charge, and depends on the magnetic field. Okay, so R is equal to NV over QB. Okay. 
Okay, period of one circular motion. Period of one circular motion is equal to 2 pi m over qb. Okay, so just now, uh, case one, case two is when the magnetic field is into the page. Okay, if I say magnetic field is up from the page, okay, so you will get a similar, okay, where we move it to the right, so your F is moving downward. So again, it will move in a circular motion, uh, where if you observe, the magnetic force will always act towards the center. Okay, so if I say I draw, this is V, this is magnetic force. Okay, so this is magnetic force, this is V. Okay, it will move in a circular motion. For negative charge also, force is acting upward. Okay, so at the end, it will move in a circular motion. Okay, so this one is anti-clockwise. This one is in clockwise direction. Okay, so this is a magnetic force acting on the moving charge particle in a uniform magnetic field. Okay. Okay, next, force between the two parallel current carry conductor. Here we have two cases. Huh? Case one is when the current is in same direction, meaning that I1, I2 in same direction. So when I1, I2 is in same direction, it actually they experience an attractive force. When in, they are in opposite direction, actually they are experience a repulsive force. So as you refer here, if same direction, I1, F1 and F2, okay, F1 is to the right, F2 is to the left. So it will attract okay, or go nearer. Okay, if let's say I is in opposite direction, I1 will move to the, okay, the wire 1 will move to the left and wire 2, it will attract or it will move to uh, to the right. So it's actually experienced a repulsive force. Okay, so the equations for force between the two parallel wire is equal to mu naught I1, I2 over 2 pi R. Okay, so this is the equation for force per unit length. Uh, it's equal to mu naught I1, I2 over 2 pi R. Okay, next. 4.6 top on a coin okay so top of a coin actually it also use the magnetic force okay where we also can use Fermi left hand rules to determine the directions of the force okay so for example okay let's say this is the current okay let's say this is the current I and the magnetic field B is from north to south okay I is going up okay if you use Fermi left hand rules B is to the right I is going up therefore your force is acting into the pitch okay so if i said i draw here for this part your i is going upward okay and then your b is to the right therefore you experience f that into the pitch okay it's into the pitch so this is actually 90 degree yeah? okay 90 degree so it's actually into the pitch okay from the other side yeah? the other side if i say i use red color okay the current is going downward okay current is going downward and then b is from left to right okay so if I say I draw it here, current is going downward, B is from left to right. Okay, so you use flaming left hand rules. This is B, this is I. Okay, so the force is actually it will it will going up from the pitch. Okay, it's going up from the pitch. So it will come up up from the pitch. Okay, so meaning that this coin here it will turn. Okay, because uh, let's say I label A, B side, it will go into the pitch. C, D side, it will up from the page. Okay, so this one, it will rotate in a circular. Okay, it will in a circular motion, so it will rotate. Therefore, it will experience a torque. Okay, there is a, a, a motion eh, where torque is equals to B, I, A, and A, eh, B, N. Okay, sine phi. Okay, sine phi, if I say phi here, is the angle between vector A and also vector B. Or if you don't want, you can use Bina cos theta, where the theta here is the angle between current and also vector B. Okay, because if you use vector A, vector A here you must be careful. Uh, because vector A here, let's say this is a coin. Okay, this is a coin. Vector A here, it must be perpendicular or 90 degree to the... Okay, perpendicular or 90 degree to the, the coin. Okay, so this is our vector A. Okay. Okay, next, motion of charged particle in a magnetic field and also electric field. Okay, so I write it here. Okay, the first one is the magnetic field. Okay, if let's say this is our magnetic field, okay, and B is into the page. Okay, so when the positive charge is entered to the page, okay, this is our V. What happened is uh, B is into the page, V is to the right, so our force, you will experience a a magnetic force FB going upward. Okay, okay. In chapter one, also we already learned if this is a positive plate, this is a negative plate. Okay, just now this is a magnetic field. Huh? 
Okay, now this is an electric field. Okay, so electric field here, the magnetic electric field will come down from positive to negative. Okay, so if let's say there is a positive charge, okay, into the electric field V, this positive charge actually it will attract to plate negative. So this is F electric Fe. Okay, so if you combine electric field plus magnetic field, if you combine, what happened? Okay, what happened is here we have electric field, and inside the electric field we also have magnetic field. So if you combine magnetic field and electric field, what happened to this positive charge? Okay, this is initially V. What happened is it will experience a magnetic force that pull it upward, and at the same time you experience a electrostatic force that attract it downward. Okay, so this is case where we combine magnetic field and electric field. Okay, so if let's say F B equals to F E, uh, the uh, the magnitude of F B is equal to F E, the value. Meaning that our positive charge here it will undeflected and it will go straight. Okay, because initially we know that if let's say it's only magnetic field, okay, if let's say only magnetic field, this charge it will go. Okay, this charge it will deflected upward. Okay, if let's say this is only uh, electric field, okay, if let's say this is only electric field, this charge will deflected downward. Okay, so when we combine, okay, when we combine F B equals to F E. Okay, if Fb equals to Fe, meaning that the charge, it will undeflected, it will move with V constant, it will move up. Okay, in a straight line. Okay, undeflected, it will go out. Uh, if I say Fb equals to Fe. So for this case, if Fb equals to Fe, uh, we say, okay, charge is undeflected. Okay, okay, move in a, in a straight line. Okay, meaning that we know that Fb is equal to Fe. Therefore, our equation QVB equals to EQ. Okay, so we can cancel off Q because they are same charge. Therefore, our V or we call it velocity selected, V is equal to E over B. Okay, E over B. Okay, so this is our uh, first case. Okay, second case is, okay, we continue. Huh? So this is the first part here. The velocity selector is we are using Fb equals to Fe. Okay, the second part here. Okay, we will use Fb equals to Fc. Centripetal force, just now four by four. Okay, so meaning that we know that if let's say the charge positive is moving to the with the velocity go straight. So we use Fleming left hand rules. B is into the page because B is cross. Huh? It's into the page. Velocity is to the right. Meaning that it will experience a force that acting upward. So actually, it will move in a circular path. Okay, when it comes to here also, F is in two, V is going up. So it will move in a circular path, and then it will reach a point P. Okay, uh, this is what we call the detector area. Okay, point P is the detector area. Okay, so for part B, F B is equals to F C. Okay, we refer back to four by four. Okay, the charge is moving in a uniform magnetic field. Therefore. Fb equals to Fc, Qvb is equal to Nv square over R. Okay, so if you cancel off the V, we will get R is equal to Nv over Qb. Okay, so these are the equations that we will use, okay, for a spectrum meter. Okay, so this is the equation, no? V equals to Ev and R equals to Nv over Qb. Okay, so that's all for uh, the summary for chapter 4, magnetic field. Okay, so let us uh, try to do the questions.